The marijuana industry is entering a new phase here in Colorado after the Colorado Department of Revenue's Marijuana Enforcement Division made some changes several industry leaders believe will be for the better. I did some research and show you what's changed and how one revision could possibly save growers millions of dollars. The future for the Colorado cannabis industry is immensely bright. The Marijuana Enforcement Division in Colorado is making big changes. The division started removing previous restrictions and regulations, and growers across the state stand to benefit. Colorado voters voted to legalize adult use cannabis back in 2012. They said, OK, let's pack this full of regulations, protect consumers, protect kids, and protect the industry. And now they're realizing, OK, these all of these regulations are no longer needed. Let's peel some of them away, which is something that we've seen in other states, too. One of those rules has to do with radio frequency identification tags. The state uses the tags to track the product. Ricardo Baca, an industry journalist, says growers of the state are following the law and that regulation is no longer needed. Maybe we can step back that regulation a little bit and lighten up on the need for so many of these RFID tags, which cost operators a lot of money. John Spadafora, president of Veritas Fine Cannabis, says the rule change on the RFID tags could save him five to six figures. Every plant that we have inside of our facility is required to have a tag that currently contains the, the RFID technology. So when you look at the difference in cost between one of these tags and, and doing the same tag without an RFID, it's substantial. You know, these are either 25 or 45 cents a tag, and we're going to save pretty close to 25 or 45 cents a tag. I mean, you're talking about pennies afterwards. So in a facility like ours, where you've got a hun hundreds of plants in a room and you've got multiple flowering rooms full of plants, it's significant. You know, for, for a cultivator, it's going to be in the five figures. It could be six figures for some of the larger producers pretty easily. Since Colorado legalized marijuana, the industry's generated more than $15 billion in total sales. So far this year alone, the industry has already generated more than a billion dollars. Here in Grand Junction, the city's first dispensary, Lucky Me, has a grand opening in the works. Spadafora says it's good timing. It makes the businesses that are entering those, those, those locations more viable. You know, they're not having to start with some of the more difficult regulation that we've had to endure for the time. So I think that's a positive thing. Not all dispensaries survive the post-pandemic slump. Competition is still tough, but Baca says in this industry, the best always rise to the top. Reporting on the Western Slope for KREX 5 News, I'm Alex Pritt-Rivero.